Hi gang, Rob here. It is the afternoon of 22 May 2018. Coming to you with another From the Sharpening Bench video. And this one, I bet most of you American viewers, you ZD, ZT fans, have never seen one of these, let alone had it in hand. Now if you're if you're a real aficionado, you know that this is a ZT 0606 designed by RJ Martin. You know that it is a 3 and 15 16 inch bladed frame lock ball bearing flipper. Not your average ball bearing flipper though. This is rocking the pivotless pivot or pivot and bearing cartridge. Essentially, you can see through it. Ooh, so revolutionary. Almost like a Strider designed in 1990-something. Okay, never mind. We'll, we'll say it's really cool, even though it takes a special tool to service. But the knife pivots, and you can see through the hole. Amazing. All right, that's all the making fun of this knife I'm going to do. Mechanically, it is an absolute piece of ZT perfection. As usual, we have a... A steel lock bar insert on the tip of that titanium lock bar interfacing against that blade fashioned of oh CTS XHP no kidding yeah kind of interesting now what's different between this 606 and the one you've all seen well frankly I have never paid much mind to the 606 because the version sold in the States is absolutely hideous. It kind of looks like uh, it kind of looks like a, a guy wearing one of those tuxedo t-shirts with a Herb Tarlick plaid sport coat and white patent leather shoes. I mean it's the most train wreck design aesthetically I've seen from ZT in a long time. On the one that comes uh, to the US this herringbone milled portion of titanium is like a goldish bronzish color. The, the smooth flats are blue. Then it has the same carbon fiber necktie. And then the blade is two-tone. So the, the black DLC on the flats and then the primary bevel and the swedge are grinder satin. Just way too many things going on way too many things. So this model, all in DLC, and just a very subtle contrast of texture from the smooth portions to the herringbone milled portions to the carbon fiber inlay. Just very subtle, very cool, murdered out, and then because it's got CTS XPH, X, easy for you to say, CTS XHP steel, it takes that beautiful mirror polish and a super, super keen cutting edge. I mean, mm. Okay, so back to dimensions. 3 and 15 16 is your blade. Uh, 5 and 5 eighths is your handle length. It's kind of chunky, like 5 eighths of an inch thick. About 619 thousandths with my calipers. Got a nice little floating backspacer out of carbon fiber. Uh-huh. The weight, uh, it ain't light. 3 16 blade stock and 5 eighths of an inch thick. Six and a half ounces. But you know what? It's not bad weight. It really isn't. It is flat ground from about two thirds of its height down with a nice little scallop in the spine and a bit of a swedge. One bit of a puzzler. They did make the sharpening choil long enough on this knife so the plunge grind isn't... Uh, isn't extending past the choil, but it's like it's not quite large enough for a finger, but it's so close it like makes you want to put your finger there. But that the point of the back of that edge is right there. I mean, especially with this scallop, I would have really preferred another eighth of an inch of choil. I mean, you can be careful and kind of do it, but that looks like such a it's a grip that you want to be in. Just maybe if you had really skinny fingers like a girl, it would work. 
just not quite. That's really the only hit I'm giving the knife, aside from making fun of the pivot, which I think is a little overhyped and requires special tools. But other than that, look at the beauty of this thing. Now, I will say this. It's pretty thick behind the edge, especially at the tip. I think I sharpened this at 19 degrees per side, kind of like hinderer, hinderer geometry. And it's not overly broad of a secondary bevel back here in the in the flat, but as the belly approaches the tip, it gets pretty wide. And then especially if you look at it, let's look at it close, I think you'll see it. Yeah, look at how wedgy we are at the tip. Let me back up my focus. Nice little Washington Monument though, huh? Beautiful centering. Mechanics are superb. Flips well. That was a light switcher. I'm going to do this with my fingers on the lock bar. No death lock. That's a good thing. If I let that blade fall into a natural position at close, I'm past the detent. Golf course clap. No issues there. Don't know if it's a light switcher. Let's see. It ought to be. It looks like that flipper is just behind the axis of the pivot. Not, not really. Not really a push button. It really wants to be light switched. But a good flipper it is. Let's look at the air goes. It would be so good in this grip if it just had a little more choil. But in the standard Sabre it's really good. Jimping is uh, coarse and only what three peaks, a little round and coarse, but I don't know that you need it with such a large finger groove. Hammer grip, really nice. Flipper does not get in the way. Draw cut grip, same story. Flipper does not get in the way. Reverse grip, superb. Overhand pinch grip. Your hand kind of searches for what groove it wants to be in, but you can kind of go up on it a little bit. Not bad. I have no issues with that. That, my friends, is a really nice ZT. And look at that. I don't know if they're calling that DLC. It's probably a PVD coating, physical vapor deposition. Obviously, the blade was finished to a pretty nice polish before they coated it. Just extremely solid. A big, heavy knife. But as you know, if you don't like them big and heavy, there's always the 609, the little brother, the baby brother. Um, this is a ZT I could own, guys. Oh my gosh, that's two in a row. I reviewed the 393 and gave it a rave. I'd really like to get hold of one of those in the bronze handle with the S35 blade. Anybody's got one they want to get rid of, hook me up. And now this. Again, I'm going to say I highly recommend this without reservation. Although, because I'm a lefty and it has a right hand only fully milled titanium clip, I probably won't buy one. I'll probably just admire them from afar and play with other people's when they come in for sharpening. Uh-huh. What do you think? Mm -mm -mm. Could it be the ZT is winning me over? It's entirely possible. That's all for this one, my friends. Thought you'd like to see it before I send it home. By the way, this all-black configuration, Europe only, as far as I understand it. Not here yet, if ever. Although my customer in Michigan owns one. Mm-hmm. This one right here. Oh, misfire. That now is all for this one. Thank you for watching. Grace to you and peace, my friends. From God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember the word in this here ZT0606. Are sharp.